Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I have three different images that I created here today using Dolly 3, and I want to go ahead and test Canva's image text grabber so we can see how effective it is for print on demand. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I've been testing it on many different images. It's quite effective, it could definitely be useful. There's really two main functions for the text grabber, and I'll kind of explain them as we go on in this video. So let's go ahead and break down some of these images. This is the first image, right? And you can see here it has a pineapple with some music, and it says groove, uh, maybe your, it's kind of an un, you know, it's not legible word, your, again, Y-W-N, own tune. Maybe it's supposed to say groove to your own tune, maybe that's what it's supposed to be, who knows. Then you have another one here that says stay sweet, and shine on. Um, there's an extra and here. I'm guessing that's what I'm assuming it's supposed to say. You know, a little bit of issues. And then here we have dream big, stay golden, which I kind of get that because it's a golden pineapple type of color. Makes sense. Um, with that being said, you're going to have a lot of images within AI tools currently in this stage of the game have spelling errors, maybe some messed up words, things like that. So the first function of the text grabber within Canva is so that you can change up the spelling, fix the spelling, things like that. So let me show you kind of how that works. So the first thing I would do here is I'm gonna first select any image that I want. And I'm gonna go over here to this edit photo button. And within the edit photo, you have this button here in the Magic Studio, Canvas Magic Studio. It says grab text. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and select grab text and what it's going to do is it's going to separate all the text from the actual image and make the text seem like a word that I can actually edit. So if you look here, I can actually move the image around and the text is selectable. Pretty interesting. Now, something that I will say is you could see here in this version of the image, you have parts of the image that are cut off. And that's only because the, those parts were intertwined with the original image. And I can go over in here and I can edit the different font. But the cool thing about this is, is that it takes the image and it takes the text inside of it and it matches it to the very closest font that you have in your font list. So based on that image that I uploaded, right, the one that it was just a few seconds ago, they've attributed a certain font to it. So based on its scanning, it says the Bobby Jones soft font is the closest font to what currently was in the image. Pretty interesting that it were already attribute a font that's closest to it. So the second main benefit of this is obviously, if you want just the image from a image and remove the text, instead of having to manually do it, this can do it for you. But no, notice, it doesn't come out perfectly. Sometimes the image will be um, obfuscated if you will, or broken down, or sometimes degraded, right? And that will happen. If you really, really care about the image and you want to remove it by hand, you could absolutely do that as well. I have tutorials on how to do that. Um, but you know, this is a viable scenario. So that's the second reason. The third reason you might want to use this tool is to figure out what the closest font to a specific image is. So let's say you're on the internet, you're seeing a font that you really like, you don't know what it's called, or you don't you want something close to it to be able to use it, you take a screenshot of that image, you put it in Canva, you use the image remover, and then Canva will attribute certain fonts to it, or as close as it possibly can based on the fonts that it currently has in your list. So that's, that's the first option. You can see here, I can drag it, right? And I could do all these kind of things. So it's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and try it on a more complicated image like this one. So we're gonna click on the image. I'll go ahead and hit edit photo. I'll hit grab text again, and it will do its thing. Let's see what it comes out with. So, and you can see there's a lot of, you know, marks, there's glyphs here. There's a lot of things going on. So I'm, I'm curious as to see what's really gonna happen within this image. And it shouldn't take too long. So yeah, there you go. So here we can move the image around and we can see the details are literally the pineapple and maybe a couple letters. Um, here we have the word stay and, so I can remove the word and for example. We have the word stay and we have the font associated with it. Um, and then we have another font here, uh, which is says sweet and shine on. Interesting, we got some symbols associated with it. 
Um, if I was doing this and I wanted to use the font for an image, I'd probably add some like maybe uh, letter spacing here because this does look a little too crammed up. So I would go over here, maybe check out my letter spacing, try to space it out, make it a little bit cleaner, kind of like that. Um, so, you know, overall it is pretty good. I'm not sitting here and saying it's not, uh, but I would, you know, work on the image a little more, maybe clear out some of these details, but overall it's pretty good. And you could see that for it to do this is pretty awesome. Now, if you don't want the text whatsoever, like I said, for one of the reasons, you can take the image and now you've removed a lot of the text from it, but you're still going to have to do additional work to it. Uh, like, for example, if I go over here to the BG remover, then I can try to manually erase some of those marks, some of the lettering, right? I can go over here and do that. But the image, uh, the, excuse me, the text grabber helped me out a lot with that, right? So that does help. Um... I'm not saying it's perfect, like I said, because it could remove certain parts of the image depending on how your Dolly or Leonardo or whatever you're using, whatever AI software you're using, um, you know, intertwines the text and the image. Let's go ahead and try this here and let's see how it does here. Now, this one potentially could be the most complicated because of the little graphics around the text, but let's see how it does. Who knows? It could do really well. So let's click grab text here. Let's see what it can do. The font definitely seems familiar or similar to this one. Let's see, it's completed. And yeah, it actually did a great job. So it did remove the text really, really well um, from the image. So you could use the text separately and the image separately. Um, but, you know, it did a great job. I'm not, you know, I can't really complain. And if I wanted to use the same image, I can, right? I could just fix the spelling in here. I could, you know, fix the placement, fix the letter spacing, fix the font size, but it's more controllable this way. And this is a huge step in the right direction for Canva. I think it has many more steps to go, but it's really taking over in a positive way. And uh, I've been using Canva forever now, right? I've been using it for maybe at least five years. It's only been getting better. It's getting more complicated to use, but it's getting better. Um, and it's more effective. I think this is pretty cool. And uh, like I said, Canva's a really good software. I definitely don't regret my subscription. Um, but this is, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm happy to see more features in the future. I hope this video, guys, helped you guys out. If you want to see my video on the Magic Expand, check it out. I got some little tips and tricks there that could help you out get a little bit more out of that software, the, the Magic Expand. I'll leave that link in the description box down below so you can watch that video. It's completely free. It's on my YouTube channel. I have a playlist for these kind of things, so check it out, all right? I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and peace out. Bye.